Hi, this is Dennis here. I'm the lead product manager for Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics. In this session, I will introduce Golden Gate Apache Iceberg replication capabilities. Golden Gate has more than 1000 supported combinations of data platforms, chipsets, operating systems, applications, and clouds. Although some casual observers may think that Golden Gate is mainly for Oracle databases, the truth is that approximately half of Golden Gate's massive global ecosystem uses it for message streaming ingestions, lake house ingestions, for non-Oracle databases, with no school and non-Oracle cloud use cases. In fact, many of the top brands in the world have standardized on Golden Gate as their one-step shop for all the real-time data use cases. Increasingly, more and more of the Golden Gate customer base is taking advantage of the stream processing and stream analytic capabilities that are now built into Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics. Oracle is deeply committed to helping customers with their real-time data management needs, regardless of which data stores or cloud technologies that they may have. From a more strategic point of view, many customers are increasingly looking at the Golden Gate platform as a crucial technology enabler for their data modernization initiatives that include a shift towards data fabric and data mesh architectures. A central aspect of these strategic initiatives is a shift to towards data product thinking, and Golden Gate platform can provide data products such as data event streams and analytics on data streams. Golden Gate can also supply data to existing data products such as collections of curated data in cloud, or to data science models used for training for uh, production. The key use cases that Golden Gate fulfills are for data high availability, trusted event sourcing for applications, stream analytics on all data, fast, simple data ingestion to the cloud. Golden Gate has been a long time industry leader in these areas, and today, Golden Gate is often used as an ex enterprise standard for powering the real time data fabric and data mesh architectures. Golden Gate for Distributed Applications and Analytics is a single Golden Gate product package that you can use for your strategic use cases. You can ingest real-time data into fabric environments, delta lakes, into NoSQL data stores, and into event message streaming platforms. You can also capture change data from NoSQL data stores and from message streaming platforms. Using Golden Gate data streams, you can create async API pops up channels to make change data available in JSON format for your developers. In this session, we will deep dive into Golden Gate's Apache Iceberg replication capabilities. With Golden Gate for Distributed Applications and Analytics 23.7, we continue to extend the Golden Gate capabilities by adding new supported technologies and Iceberg Open Table Format Ingestion is the newest and the latest Golden Gate certified technology. Golden Gate provides the most comprehensive real-time Iceberg ingestions in the market. It supports Iceberg ingestions to various cloud storage services and data platform services. In case of cloud storage-based Apache Iceberg ingestions, users do not need any engines like Spark, Flink, or any database engines. In this option, Golden Gate uses Iceberg Java API for engineless Iceberg ingestion. The second alternative is to create Iceberg tables through third-party data platforms. For example, let's assume that you want to create an iceberg-based lake house on Amazon S3 using Amazon Glue Catalog. In that case, you can use Golden Gate Engineless Iceberg Ingestion. As another example, let's assume that you want to create Apache Iceberg Tables for Snowflake. In this case, you can use the existing Golden Gate Snowflake replication with additional options to create iceberg tables stored in cloud storage. Now, let's have a closer look into Golden Gate Engineless Iceberg Ingestion and Golden Gate Platform-based Iceberg Ingestion. Golden Gate uses Apache Iceberg Java API for Engineless Iceberg Ingestion and does not require any processing engine to ingest Iceberg table uh, format. Oracle Golden Gate Iceberg Engineless Replicate supports a rich set of Iceberg catalogs to enable data consumers to access various file formats stored in different storage services. Oracle Golden Gate Iceberg Engineless Replicate supports Amazon Glue Catalog with Amazon S3, Hadoop, JDBC, Nessie, Polaris, and REST catalogs with all third-party cloud storage services, including AWS, GCS, and Amazon S3. As a part of the replication process, Golden Gate runs operation aggregation, and it 
improves replication uh, performance for Apache iceberg ingestions. In iceberg replication, Golden Gate writes Parquet format as default. Other Golden Gate supported formats are ORC and Avro. Also, Golden Gate supports automated iceberg table creation and initial load into iceberg table format. And you can use Autonomous Database Data Catalog to fully utilize iceberg tables created by Golden Gate. The Autonomous Database Catalog is a centralized metadata catalog which allows users to organize, discover, govern, and manage data assets within Autonomous Database and also in connected ecosystems. With Autonomous Data Catalog, you can easily search and discover your data no matter where and in which format they are stored. To embrace all the advantages of table formats and the growing popularity of iceberg tables, Oracle is enabling Autonomous Database customers to fully utilize iceberg tables and access iceberg um, data as clients. This broadens Autonomous Database users' choice of data types into Apache Iceberg. Autonomous Database allows you to synchronize with Amazon Web Service Glue Data Catalog metadata. A database external table is automatically created by Autonomous Database for every table harvested by AWS Glue about the data stored in Amazon S3. And you can easily query your iceberg tables stored on AWS S3 from Autonomous Data Warehouse using AWS Glue Catalog integration. Golden Gate also supports platform-based iceberg ingestions for Snowflake, Google BigQuery, and Databricks. Starting with Golden Gate for distributed applications and analytics 23.7, you can use existing Snowflake, Google BigQuery, and Databricks stage and merge handlers for ingesting iceberg table format into these platforms. For Snowflake, Golden Gate uses standard for Snowflake stage and merge architecture, but the only difference is it writes the target table in iceberg format into an external storage location of customer's choice. It's a similar flow for iceberg ingestions with Google BigQuery. In this scenario, iceberg tables are created in GCS buckets. For Databricks, Golden Gate will create target tables with a Delta Lake Universal format set to iceberg, and these tables can be read by iceberg clients. Now, let's view um, our demo flow. For the demo, we have several, several source tables in uh, Oracle Autonomous Database, and our target is iceberg tables in Amazon Glue. I also have a Golden Gate deployment running on OCI. Here, I have an extract process which captures change data in real time from the source tables. And I have an engineless iceberg uh, replicate which will write the data coming from source tables into my target glue database in iceberg format. Then, I will use autonomous database uh, catalog to access and query iceberg tables which are created by Golden Gate. The great thing about Autonomous Database Catalog is that it has a seamless integration with Glue, so I can easily verify that my data has replicated correctly just by running some SQL command in Autonomous Database to query the iceberg tables. I don't really need to use any Spark engine or services like AWS Athena. I can validate my tables just using Autonomous Database. Now, let's run the demonstration. Okay, so we can start our demonstration. This is my source database. It's an autonomous database instance. And in this source database, I have this schema called SRC OCI GGLL. And as you can see, under the schema, I have uh, several tables. So these are my source tables that I will be replicating into uh, Apache Iceberg. So first of all, what I would like to show you is the content of these uh, tables. So I'm just going to run a select from these tables. Okay, perfect. So as you can see, uh, these tables are empty for the time being. So the second thing that I want to show you is the uh, catalog integration. So I already created the catalog integration into my uh, AWS um, uh, Glue catalog from my autonomous database instance. So if I actually run this uh, select statement, It is just going to show me the uh, catalog name. So this is the catalog name that I have in uh, AWS Glue. And this is the catalog ID uh, that I'm connected to. And if I run the second one, 
it's not going to return anything because currently I don't have any tables created within that uh, uh, catalog uh, database. So that's why it is returning uh, empty. So as you can see, currently my source tables, there are no records. And in my target uh, catalog environment, glue catalog environment, there are no iceberg tables uh, being uh, present. So now what I want to do is I actually want to show you uh, the, uh, the replicate. So this is the Golden Gate uh, environment. And in this Golden Gate environment, I can create my iceberg replication. So for the demonstration, I created the, um, uh, I already created the replication, but I just want to show you quickly how you can create it. Give a process name, give the trail name, select the target as uh, Apache iceberg. And then you can select your catalog and based on your catalog selection, you can select your storage location as well. So, for example, if you select Polaris, you can select ADLS, S3 or Google, Google Cloud Storage as your storage uh, locations. But if you select uh, AWS Glue, it's going to be only uh, Amazon S3. And you just uh, click Next, Next. So here in parameters, you can define your source to target mappings. And this is actually where you can define your uh, source tables. And this is where you can define how you map them to your target glue uh, database. And in next, based on your selections, you have to provide additional uh, configurations for authentication and for connection. So this is basically how you create the replicate for Apache Iceberg. And for the demonstration, I actually uh, already created a replication process called uh, RepIce. So I just want to show you that. So here, the important thing is actually uh, that I want to share with you this uh, AWS uh, glue ID. And as you can see here from this command, these are matching. So this is the catalog ID that I'm connected from my autonomous uh, database instance. And as you can see, it is the same as in my uh, replication uh, process. So this is my replicate. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start my uh, replication process. So currently my extract process is up and running and I'm just going to start my replicate process as well. Okay, perfect. So right now my replicate is up and running and let's see. Okay, perfect. It is uh, healthy. So I just want to show you the statistics. And as you can see, uh, there is nothing here because I have not created any uh, source transactions. So there is nothing uh, being uh, replicated uh, for the time being. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to my um, autonomous database environment. And here I'm just going to open this um, um, sample source data. So here I have several uh, insert, update and delete statements uh, for these uh, tables that I created and that I'm using for demonstration. So I'm just going to run these uh, insert, update and delete statements in my source tables. So let's run them. Okay, perfect. So I run them successfully. And now what I'm going to do is again, I'm just going to come back to my uh, counts. and just uh, run it. Perfect, so these are my uh, source table counts. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get to my replicate statistics. So let's refresh this. As you can see, they're populated as well. And I can see the same statistics here in my insert updates and deletes, which means that my replication worked uh, like healthily and it replicated the data in uh, iceberg table format into my AWS uh, environment. So I will get back to my autonomous database uh, instance and I'm just going to open again um, 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 catalog integration. Again, I'm going to run this command. So again, this is the same catalog. And now I'm just going to run the um, 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 like table list as well. Okay, perfect. So these are the tables that are created by my replicate process. 
in my uh, AWS uh, Glue uh, environment. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to run this uh, procedure. So it's going to create the um, external tables within my autonomous database environment so that I can query these uh, iceberg tables located in uh, AWS Glue. Okay, perfect. It is completed successfully. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get back to my uh, accounts. So now I'm just going to run this uh, select statement to see the counts in my source table. Okay, perfect. So these are the counts. And uh, now what I'm going to do is I'm just actually uh, slide this window. Perfect. So here I have the uh, schema created by autonomous database and these are the tables that I'm going to query. So these are my uh, iceberg tables that I saw from the catalog integration and I'm just going to query them. Okay, perfect. And um, these are the uh, results on the uh, iceberg side. So as you can see, uh, the counts are matching. This is how easy it is to ingest real-time data into iceberg tables using Golden Gate and query iceberg tables using autonomous database catalog. Thanks for your time.